Hello everybody, my name is Arzu and I welcome you all to this YouTube channel. So today's topic is question tags and short answers. So this is a very unique topic yet a very important topic. Now what it is all about? Question tags. Now during a conversation when you are having a conversation with someone and you make a statement we need to ask sometimes we need to ask some confirmations after that statement now i will explain it to you with an example for example the first statement it's very hot isn't it now when you asking someone that it is very hot today right isn't it you are asking that person too that do you also feel that it is uh, hot today how do we ask that it is very hot which is a statement and isn't it is uh, we are asking for confirmation if the fellow person is feeling the same or not now how do we form all these questions after the statement we make now there is a syntax we can call it as a syntax now the later part which is isn't it is called a question tag so the question that we ask after making a statement is known as a question tag so in this sentence in this complete sentence isn't it is the question tag now how do we form that the pattern is auxiliary plus and plus subject now we need to know what are auxiliary verbs now auxiliary verbs are also known as helping verbs so these are the verbs that will join together with the main verb to form a sentence for example in this sentence it is very hot isn't it so in this sentence is it's is we can write it's as it is right so is is the auxiliary verb or you can say the helping verb now we have two types of auxiliary verbs the primary auxiliary verb and the modal auxiliary verb now we have three primary auxiliary verb that are a uh, b do and have and in modal auxiliary verbs we have can could will would shall should fine and many more so you need to get this idea that auxiliary verbs are the helping verbs right now the syntax is auxiliary plus ain't plus subject now if the statement is negative negative in the sense when we have not we have not word in the statement it will form a negative statement now how you are free you are free is a positive statement right now are is the auxiliary verb now we need to uh, we need to follow the syntax so what is auxiliary verb in this second sentence r now r plus ain't it will form aren't right and what is the subject you so what will it form aren't you right now this sentence she can swim well now what is the auxiliary verb can what after that what do we have ain't so what it will form can't right and what is the subject in the sentence she so what it will form can't she so can't she is the question tag now this one anand broke the glass now anand broke the glass didn't he so did is the auxiliary verb plus ain't plus what is the subject anand anand is a boy so we will use he your sister cooks well doesn't she now does is the auxiliary verb ain't plus ain't plus what is the subject 
your sister now your sister is female so she now when we have negative statements for example when we have not in the statement you aren't busy matlab you are not busy now when we have a negative statement the syntax is auxiliary plus subject now what is the auxiliary verb here are and what is the subject you so what it what will come are you right ain't will won't come ain't will come with the statement which are positive but this is a negative statement so only auxiliary verb and the subject will come similarly she can't swim can she so what is the auxiliary verb here can and what is the subject she so what is the question tag which is formed can she right moving on note that the subject of the question tag is always a pronoun never a noun now we all know that pronoun are the words that will come at the place of nouns now the best example for this is this sentence anand broke the glass didn't he now anand is a noun because anand is a name name of a person so it is a noun but when we wrote the question tag we we did not write didn't anand no we wrote he he is a pronoun that represents the noun anand right so this notes depicts the same now we need to see these examples i am right aren't i let's go to the beach shall we wait a minute can you so these are the statements and which are followed by the question tags now moving on to short answers now we are done with what are question tags now let's come up to short answers the following is the most usual form of short answers to verbal questions now when short answers means when we have to uh, when the question you know when the question asked needs an answer with a yes or a no now look at this are you going to school now someone put up a question to you are you going to school now the answer would be if it is a yes it would be yes comma what is the pronoun if they are if they are asking you so you will say yes plus the pronoun which is i and the auxiliary verb which is am so you will say yes i am if you are not going to school the syntax would be no then the pronoun is i the auxiliary verb am and plus not right now the second question can you drive a car now if the answer is yes follow the syntax yes plus what is the pronoun i then what is the auxiliary verb i can because the auxiliary verb used in the question is can now if you cannot try a uh, drive a car the answer would be no plus pronoun is i and the auxiliary verb is can plus not so no i cannot right is your son married now you'll say if it is a if it is a yes you will say yes plus the pronoun is he and the auxiliary verb is is because in question we have used the auxiliary verb is and if no then no and the pronoun is he the auxiliary verb is is plus ain't which is isn't does does raju yadav work hard 
yes then the pronoun he and then the auxiliary verb does no he doesn't matlab auxiliary verb plus not now the third one agreement and disagreement with statement now there are few statements where we have to show our agreement if we if we are agreeing to that statement and our disagreement when we are disagreeing the statement now what is the format or the syntax for that now if it is a yes if we are agreeing with the statement then we should say yes or you can say so or you can say of course plus the pronoun and plus the auxiliary verb now you'll get a clear picture of this with an example it is a good film now if you are agreeing you'll say yes then the pronoun now what is the pronoun it it and what is the auxiliary verb or helping verb it is is now yes it is right now deepak has already come you can say so now what is the pronoun here deep now deepak is noun here but we cannot write noun we have to write pronoun so what would be the pronoun he and what is the auxiliary verb has now he can speak hindi very well now you'll say of course because you can say three words yes so and of course now of course and the pronoun is he and the auxiliary verb is can now in this example you can see that the auxiliary verb can which is the helping verb is joined with the main verb which is speak right so can is a helping verb and speak is the main verb he looks dishonest now if you agree you'll say yes then the pronoun he and then the auxiliary verb does now if you these are all for, these examples were for agreement now moving on to negative statements or when you are disagreeing to the statement now what is the format for this you will say no plus the pronoun plus the auxiliary verb plus not the oranges aren't good you'll say no then the pronoun they are not so no they aren't right she doesn't like fish no she then does and then not so no she doesn't next one disagreements with affirmative statements are made with no oh no plus pronoun plus auxiliary plus not but is used in disagreement with a question or an assumption now when we are making an affirmative statement which do not include a question mark affirmative statements are the normal statements made by a person right so for that the syntax and when you are disagreeing to that uh, to that affirmative statement now for example he is drunk so this is a normal statement made by someone now when you are disagreeing to this statement what you will do you will say no and then the pronoun which is he and then the auxiliary verb which is is plus not so no he isn't now you are joking right when you have made an affirmative sentence and then you have to disagree to that statement you have to say no and then the pronoun which is i i am and then not right why did you beat him now this is a question 
so when we have a question and we have to disagree that at that moment we will use but but word but i didn't i suppose she knows bengali but she doesn't because this is an assumption someone has made an assumption so when there are there are two things if there is a question or an assumption at that moment of time we have to start with but right and when it is an affirmative statement the format is no plus pronoun plus auxiliary verb plus not now disagreements with negative statements are made with yes or but plus pronoun plus auxiliary verb now you can't understand it it is a negative statement because we have used not in this statement can't can plus not is can't so now disagreement yes i can now you are disagreeing to this negative statement someone has said that you cannot understand it but you have to disagree to this negative statement and you will say yes plus the pronoun i plus the auxiliary verb which is can you can all see here can he won't come back but see you can use yes as well as you can use but but he which is the pronoun and will which is the auxiliary verb now the fourth one addition to remarks affirmative additions to affirmative remarks are made with so plus auxiliary plus subject now if someone is making a remark for example sunil like oranges right so someone is saying that sunil like oranges and if you like oranges too now what you will say you will say so you will you see this is the format let me now the format is so plus auxiliary plus the subject Sunil likes oranges. You'll say so. The auxiliary verb do, and I. She must go home. So, then the verb, helping verb must, and I. So must I. He was late for the meeting. So were you. I have finished my homework so has my sister negative additions to negative remarks are made with nor neither auxiliary plus subject rama krishnan doesn't like sweets now in the above statements we are adding a positive remark now when you have to add a negative remark with a negative addition for example in this statement ramakrishnan does not doesn't like sweets so it is a negative statement that ramakrishnan do not like sweets now when you want to add a negative remark to this what you will say so the format is nor or neither plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject now start with nor and the auxiliary verb is do and the subject is i so nor do i he didn't believe it neither did i i can't do the sum nor can my father negative additions to affirmative remarks are made with but plus subject 
plus auxiliary plus not he knows german but i don't now when the statement made is positive but the remark that you are giving is negative then the format is but plus subject plus auxiliary plus not now but the subject is i and the auxiliary which is do and not so but i don't i understood the joke but mary didn't or but i didn't whatever you want to say okay the the pronoun used is i so we cannot use i here you can say but he didn't or but she didn't or but mary didn't any ways you want he knows how to cook but his wife doesn't i can play chess but my brother can't now affirmative additions to negative remarks now the remarks which are made are negative but the statement that you want to give to the, to it to an addition to it would be positive now what is the format for that but plus subject plus auxiliary he doesn't know her he doesn't know her is a negative statement because it includes not now when you wanted to give a positive remark to this negative remark what you will say but plus the subject i plus the auxiliary verb do i didn't see the film but gopi did he can't play cricket but i can so but is the word which i we have to used i is the subject and can is the auxiliary verb because we have can't in the statement she wasn't late but you were so it is all about question tags and short answers i hope you find this topic very interesting and it is going to help you in your conversations now it is all about the today's topic I will see you soon again with my next video till then bye bye